Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that affects millions of women worldwide, fibroids. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths in the uterus that can cause a variety of symptoms and complications. In this video, we'll dive deep into what fibroids are, their symptoms, causes, and treatments. In this video, we'll explore everything you need to know about fibroids, a common medical condition that affects millions of women worldwide. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop in the uterus and can cause a range of symptoms, including heavy periods, pelvic pain, and infertility. We'll cover the different types of fibroids, their causes, and risk factors, as well as the various treatment options available to manage this condition. Whether you've been recently diagnosed with fibroids or simply want to learn more about this condition, this video is for you. As earlier stated, fibroids are growths that develop in the wall of the uterus. They can vary in size, from small pea-sized lumps to large growths that can even cause the uterus to expand. Fibroids are most common in women in their 30s and 40s and are more prevalent in African-American women. There are three major types of uterine fibroids. Intramural fibroids grow within the muscular uterine wall. Submucosal fibroids bulge into the uterine cavity. Subserosal fibroids project to the outside of the uterus. Symptoms of fibroids can vary widely depending on the size, location, and number of fibroids. Some women may have no symptoms at all, while others may experience heavy and prolonged periods, pelvic pain, frequent urination, and constipation. Fibroids can also cause fertility problems and complications during pregnancy. The exact cause of fibroids is unknown, but it is believed that they are related to the hormone estrogen. Women with higher levels of estrogen are more likely to develop fibroids. Other risk factors include a family history of fibroids, obesity, and a diet high in red meat and low in fruits and vegetables. Fibroids are usually diagnosed through a pelvic exam or an ultrasound. In some cases, an MRI or a biopsy may be needed to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment options for fibroids depend on the severity of the symptoms and the size and location of the fibroids. Medications, such as birth control pills, can help regulate menstrual bleeding and relieve pelvic pain. Surgery, such as a myomectomy or a hysterectomy, may be needed in more severe cases. Other treatment options include uterine artery embolization, endometrial ablation, MRI-guided focused ultrasound surgery and the use of herbs and fruits. If the use of herbs and fruits to treat and cure fibroid interests you, then you should buy our ebook that teaches women with fibroid how to treat and cure it at home using natural plants, herbs, and fruits. This works 99% of the time and it costs less than $30. We also provide after-sales support in case you ever want to reach us. To place an order, click the link in the video description. Now that we have a better understanding of what fibroids are, it's important to address some of the misconceptions surrounding this condition. One common myth is that fibroids always lead to cancer, which is not true. Fibroids are almost always benign, meaning they are non-cancerous. However, it's still crucial to monitor any changes in size or symptoms and speak with a healthcare provider if you're concerned. Another myth is that fibroids only affect women who have never had children. In reality, fibroids can develop in women at any stage of life, regardless of whether they have had children or not. It's also important to note that while fibroids can cause discomfort and inconvenience, they are not a life-threatening condition. However, for women who experience severe symptoms or fertility issues, seeking medical attention is crucial. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that there are several lifestyle changes women can make to reduce their risk of developing fibroids. Eating a healthy, Balanced diet high in fruits and vegetables and low in red meat has been linked to a lower risk of fibroids. Exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can also help reduce the risk. Before we wrap up, let's address one last thing, the emotional toll that fibroids can take on women. Dealing with a chronic health condition can be overwhelming and stressful, and fibroids are no exception. 
It's common for women with fibroids to feel frustrated, anxious, or even ashamed. It's important to know that these feelings are normal and that seeking support from loved ones, a therapist, or a support group can be helpful. Additionally, educating oneself about fibroids can help women feel more empowered and in control of their health. Talking openly about fibroids and sharing experiences with other women can also help reduce the stigma surrounding this condition. In conclusion, fibroids are a complex condition that can have physical and emotional effects on women. However, with knowledge, support, and appropriate medical care, women with fibroids can manage their symptoms and live fulfilling lives. Remember, you are not alone, and there is no shame in seeking help. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this video has been informative and helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more health-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.